hello and welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to learn how to draft and make an Ankara peplum top we are going to use the freehand method of drafting and we are going to start by drafting the front bodice so you fold the fabric and then having the measurement you measure from nape to waist and for this blouse is about 18 inches nape to waist so you'll indicate the shoulder line the bust line and the waist line those are very essential from the shoulder line to the bust line is approximately nine inches for an adult and uh, the shoulders are 16 inches so you divide by two and then you add half an inch for seam allowance bust you divide by four and then you add an allowance of one and a half inches for the waist you divide by four and then you add one inch seam allowance and one inch dart so you add two inches and then you join all those points carve the armhole nicely with outwards and inwards there we divide by two and then we get inside by half a centimeter and then you lower the shoulder line by one inch you make the neckline three inches by four inches and then you curve the neckline to locate the dart you minus one inch and then you divide by two and then you square up you go down two and a half inches and then you mark the dart which is approximately one inch then you cut your fabric To draft the bodice back, we normally fold the fabric right side facing, wrong side uppermost, and then we measure a zip allowance of about one inch or one and a half inches. After that, we place the, the, the front bodice and then we mark the neckline, lowering it by one and a half inches and then curving it. And then we use the pattern to cut around the bodice back. Then we separate the pieces. We are going to use a tetron lining for this garment. And for the lining, you just use the patterns that you have already cut to cut around the, the lining fabric.
To cut up the facings, we normally trace the neckline of the garment patterns and then we mark all around the neckline by two and a half to three inches. To cut out the peplum, we fold the fabric and then we draft like the way we draft a circular skirt. We just make a circle and then we cut it out. To draft the sleeves, you fold the fabric right side facing, the wrong side uppermost, and then you measure the sleeve length, adding a hem allowance of one inch. And then you drop down four inches and measure the bust measurement on that line that you have dropped. And then from that point, you join it to the beginning point with a slanting line. Then you measure the sleeve circumference and then you add a seam allowance and then you join all those points together and shape the sleeve pattern. Attach the facing to the lining of the fabric shown below. Mark and stitch the dark. Join the fabric and the lining starting from the neckline. And I stitch the neckline to give it a good neck finish.
Prepare the peplum by stitching it together with the lining. Snip the raw edges and then understitch. Stitch the sides of the peplum and then you press. Fit the peplum on the waist of the garment and make an inverted pleat at the center. Join the side seams taking into consideration the bust measurement and the waist measurement.
Prepare the sleeve by joining it together with the lining. Attach the sleeve to the garment. Use a zipper foot to attach a hidden zipper. Note that it is always important to press the garment at the end of each section of sewing so that it can have a neat end finish. <music> 